People say, well, children don't come with a handbook. Yes, they, yes, yeah. yes, they mm -hmm. do. Right. Yeah. It's called the Bible. That's right. And Preach. in Proverbs, you know, it says, don't be a party to your son's death. Mm -hmm. Teach him while wow. there is hope. Yeah. They either don't know how or mm -hmm. they won't. They're afraid of, oh, my yeah. child will be mad at me. Yeah. Yeah. Better you cry, him cry now then you cry later. That's yeah. And that's what lack of discipline, it's its really a shame. You see it in the streets, you see it on social media. There's no discipline, there's no self-control, yeah. mm -hmm. which is another form of discipline. And mm. God expects it because yep. the nine the nine uh, fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Yeah. We yep. need it. Mm -hmm. That's expected of us. And you need to teach it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to teach Absolutely. it. We're not born with it. That's Parents right. have to teach their children how to practice self-control. Control. Absolutely. So even with teenage Absolutely. children, I think you can have a lot to say about that because we're not we're not there yet. I'm right. almost there. I'm a little bit scared about that. But I think even with teenage children, it's important to remember that as a parent, you're still in control. Yes. Mm -hmm. You still make the rules. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. Yeah. Yep. And you you're not your kids on the phone. You're not you your kids. Right. You're not your kids' best friend. Exactly. Yeah. You are their parent. That's right. Exactly. So, from a non-teenage mom standpoint, that's what I would say. But what would what do you feel like were some of your non-negotiable rules for your kids as they got older? Hmm. I always heard you're the strictest mom on the block. On the block, and mm -hmm. I'd say, right, <laughs> and right. that's okay. Yeah. yeah. And I needed discernment on how to raise. How do I? I mean, right now they're teenage, but I want godly children. Yeah. You know. So discernment, disciplining on yeah. hearing God. I remember one time Billy wanted to spend the night at a uh, friend's house, mm. and so I just kind of inclined my ear and I felt no, and he was mad. And I said, go upstairs. I said, no. Well, that night, during the night, this house that he would have been out, and it was only a couple streets over, they waited till the parents went to sleep. And um, this one kid talked him into going around and stealing out of cars. Wow. All three of them were arrested. Mm. And Billy said, Mom, how did you know? I said, I didn't know. But I inclined my ear to right. God and knew you were not supposed to be there. That's it good. doesn't matter if your kids get mad. Yep. It, that, it, that doesn't doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. You, you're, you're either going to be your child's authority, mm -hmm. or they're going to be your authority. Yeah, and that's true. I'm the authority, yep. yeah. and that's how it is. Yep. The enabling doesn't allow, and this can go for any age any walk of life, it doesn't allow you to have a rock bottom. Yeah. Now that rock bottom mm -hmm. in your five-year-old might look different than your rebellious yeah. teen's rock bottom, right. but they have to feel some sort of consequence yeah. for what they're doing. Exactly. They can't just say, oh, well, I'm just tired. That's mm -hmm. why I'm talking back to my mom because I have an excuse. I have a exactly. built-in excuse. So yeah. then they go out in the world and nothing is ever their fault. Right. Nothing, exactly. there's no consequences right. to anything. Everything goes because there's got to be an excuse for that. It's got to be someone else mm -hmm. because they were allowed that. Exactly right. Jean, in Proverbs 19 says, discipline your son while there is hope. Do mm. not be a willing party to his death. And this yeah. is what happens. If you don't discipline your kid here, right. doesn't, if he doesn't have to listen to his parents here, he's not going to listen to his coach, not going to listen That's to his right. teacher, he's not going to listen to authority, and eventually not going to listen to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, and it leads to physical and eventually spiritual death. Yeah. Mm. When we were introduced to someone, we had to say hello. Absolutely. It was make yeah. eye contact and say hello. And too many parents and too many kids today, it starts with even the acknowledging of someone else. Yeah. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're tired. It's so, so what would you say to the woman that's really struggling? Because I hear so many women that struggle with this. And it mm -hmm. baffles me because I want to be like, you want some of me? Because I don't care if my <laughs> kids are crying. It doesn't bother me. What do you say to the woman that's like, I don't know how to do it? Where would you direct them in the Bible and in prayer to go? To just, you know, the Bible says in Psalm 32, I will teach and instruct you in the way you should go. Mm -hmm. I'll counsel you and watch mm -hmm. over you. And then see, again, look, Lord, what do you want me to do? How can I do this? Give me um, the strength mm -hmm. to say this to this child. That's mm -hmm. your That's child. Good. That's good. You, they're not the boss. Yeah. You're the boss. That's your child. Teach them. This is how, this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. And this is what we, ne we need. Well, I think ultimately, too, uh, kids, whether they'll never admit it, but they want and need boundaries. Yes, they do. Yes. It is a natural Very thing. Good. It's, it's, it's natural for a dog, let yeah. alone a kid, to right. want and need structure, structure and boundaries yeah. and a schedule and a routine right. because that is what grounds a child. That's 
part of what makes a child feel safe and loved when they know that you're willing to right. go the distance mm -hmm. for yes. them. When they know yes. that you are being consistent. They'll not, they may not know it at the time that it's for their own good. Yeah, but absolutely. That, when, that they know that you are being consistent, that you are laying down laws and rules because you love them. And God did it for us. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's absolutely. why we're called to do it for our kids because one, the, the Bible tells us to discipline our kids. But the Bible also talks about how God disciplines us as his children and why why would we be any different towards our children? If we love them as as much as we can, if we love them like God loves us, why would we not want to discipline them yeah. if that's what exactly. God instructs us and and does for us? Exactly. Tom, before we close, read that quote that you have written down there because I think that's so good. Right here? Yep. Better him cry now than you cry later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's so good. That's, yeah, that's good. Really